Sarah, a 35-year-old woman, lives alone in a quiet suburban home. One evening, she notices strange occurrences, faint whispers in the walls, objects subtly shifting when she's not looking, and lights flickering for no apparent reason. At first, she dismisses these events as her imagination, but soon the disturbances escalate. The poltergeist begins tormenting Sarah, shattering mirrors, rattling windows, and even tugging at her clothes as she walks through the house. What's happening to me? Why won't it stop? You cannot escape me, Sarah. Desperate and terrified, she tries to reach out to friends, but the entity disconnects phone calls and cuts off communication. Sarah, are you there? Hello? Sarah, we can't hear you. Are you okay? Please respond. With each failed attempt, Sarah's isolation grows deeper, the malevolent presence tightening its grip on her sanity. One night, the whispers become clear. They're calling her name. What, what do you want from me? Sarah, Sarah, come to us, Sarah. The chilling realization that the whispers have a purpose sends shivers down Sarah's spine. The poltergeist intensifies its attack, causing furniture to levitate and shadows to twist unnaturally across the walls. No, stop it. Please just leave me alone. You cannot escape us, Sarah. The room turns into a nightmarish scene as the entity's power reaches new, terrifying heights. Sarah stumbles upon an old, forgotten photograph. It's a picture of a woman, the house's previous owner, who had mysteriously disappeared. Who is she? Why was this hidden away? I was once like you, Sarah. Trapped and terrified. The realization sends chills down Sarah's spine. The woman in the photograph had faced the same fate she now fears. Realizing she's being haunted by the spirit of the previous owner, Sarah decides to flee. But the entity has other plans. I need to get out of here. Now! You can't leave, Sarah. This is your home now. The doors slam shut, windows lock themselves, and Sarah finds herself trapped. Panic sets in as she understands the gravity of her situation. In a desperate act of bravery, Sarah confronts the poltergeist. But the entity's rage only intensifies. What do you want from me? Why are you doing this? You will never escape. This is your fate. The house trembles, and shadows dance wildly. Sarah's screams echo through the empty halls, but there's no one to hear her. The story reaches its chilling conclusion with Sarah's disappearance. Just like the woman before her, she vanishes without a trace. Help me, someone please. Your cries are in vain. You belong to me now. The house falls eerily silent. But then the whispers begin again, hinting at the next soul to be claimed. <laughs>